Hello and welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to go through very quickly on the PDF of the newest system that's going to be released by Free League called the Walking Dead Universe. And my focus here is not actually go deep into the, the rules and so on, but check the solo solo rules because I really like it. Uh, I have been preparing myself to play Mutant Year Zero solo, but then I saw it and now I'm in doubt. Should I move forward with the Mutant Year Zero or should I just play The Walking Dead? Um, the system is uh, basically, if you're familiar to Year Zero, it is based on the D6 pool uh, with a stress mechanic. So if I would compare this to any other freely game, it more similar to um, Alien RPG, although we can see some uh, mechanics from uh, Mutant Year Zero and, and others as well. Uh, so we have basically the four attributes. Um, the skills are exactly the same. It's really close to the SRD. Uh, even the name of the skills are basically the same. Um, the stress mechanic from, from Alien, uh, there is no um panic table actually basically if you roll a one in a stress die instead of rolling a panic table uh something bad happens just that and i think this is really good uh in the solo rules they they have a, a table that we can roll to see what what happened but i would compare this to gm move from pbta games and i think it fits it fits really well in this kind of of game so um, I like it. Uh, instead of having the arc as we have on, on Mutant Year Zero, here we have the Haven, uh, and then you can have this Haven. There is no uh, mechanic for projects and improvements as we have on Mutant Year Zero, but um, yeah, th at least we have this uh, here, the Haven, and one could just adapt or create something, some kind of mechanic on top of it. The game is really simple. Uh, I, I think that they could have done a little bit better, uh, not in terms of content. I, th I just think that we could have more mechanics, um, uh, uh, survival mechanics. This is what I mean. We could uh, have more focus on get getting resources and so on. But it is what it is. Uh, and maybe in the final version, we, we will have more things or they release more more contents in the future. Let's see. But um, in, in general, it it seems really good, really consistent. Although it's 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 simple, I would say it's 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 not so simple as Tales from the Loop because it has a little bit more on it. But I would say it's it's between Tales from the Loop and um, an Alien RPG. Uh, what I really like it as well is the, the combat because they made basically we have two options we can have duels and duels would would say that is the simplest combat so simplified combat rules because it's basically opposed roles so you roll your opponent roll and if you have more successes than your opponent you have these effects here so it's it's really good and the way that they now they are now handling it because in the end the combat becomes way more faster they, they say that these rules should be uh, applied only in combats that involves a uh, few people uh, but they they have some kind of options if you have more than than two or three we can have some some uh, we have a mechanic here too um, and the the traditional combat from 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 Year Zero Engine, uh, they call brawls, and there is no initiative. What we have is basically we define the action that we are going to take. Depending on the action, uh, our 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 actions they they happens uh, in phases. So first taking cover, second rigid combat, close combat movement, first aid, and other. So yeah, this is this is really good because you don't need to keep track of of uh, initiative all, all the time so uh, damage and healing uh, basically the, the characters here they have only three uh, hit points 
So uh, if you take three damage, you are you are broken. Uh, but we still have the armor mechanic, so we roll die uh, dice to reduce the damage as as usual on most of freely games. If we are broken, we roll in a critical injury table, and we have further rules for other stuff here. Gear, uh, we do not have special die for gear, uh, skills, and, and base attributes. It's basically the same dice uh, type for, for everything. Uh, only the, the stress dice uh, are different in this, in this game. Uh, I mean different, in different color. This is what I mean. So there is a specific rule to, to, for fighting the dead. So if you are fighting against walkers, uh, there are some, some special rules here, and then uh, we can check. Um, and this is the reason that I think it's, it's really great, because we have several uh, tables that we can use in our solo sessions. So walker attack. So we just roll and see what kind of, of attack uh, happens. Uh, of course, it, it follows the, the setting of the Walking Dead. So if we are damaged, uh, if, we take, uh, if we have an injury, we can become uh, a, a walking dead, a walker in the end. Uh, yeah, so we have here the, the haven, so some capacity, defense, uh, some issues that could happen. There are some projects, but I think that they could develop it a little bit better. It, it's, it's too simplistic. It's not, it's not as we used to have on Mutant Year Zero, uh, or even the, the, the stronghold mechanic on on Forbidden Lands, but it, it, it is enough, I would say, to, to start something. Uh, and then how to run the game and so on. So let's go to the solo rules because this is the, the best part of the, of the book for me. Uh, the, the rules were, were created by Matt K, the same guy that created the, the official solo rules for Forbidden Lands and the author of, of, of Year Zero Mini. So, and what he did here is, is great. Instead of creating your character with 12 points, as usual, you use 14 uh, 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 points for, for your skills. Um, and we should you should have an additional talent. Uh, there is an oracle uh, that just used the six. Uh, and he there, there is a, a mechanic in the, the, the core rules called lucky die. And he says that this lucky die can be used as well. Um, he created some kind of theme tables uh, that can be used, um, and uh, it, it, it's uh, D6, D66, six, six, six <laughs> tables, so three sixes. So we have basically 216 words here available for us. Uh, just some, some ideas. Uh, progress clocks, it, this is really great. It comes from from Blades in the Dark, he adapt these to to the game as well, uh, and then some some tables for relationship, rumors, and so on, and uh, explanation of, of how to play solo uh, on by using uh, the Walking Dead RPG. Some tables for factions, some tables for solo combat, because this is this is what I like. Uh, the, the, the game itself has this uh, rules light combat called duels, where we basically have uh, opposing roles. But uh, if you are playing solo, um, uh, what they did here is you can roll in this table, and depending not, not ruin it in this table, you just you just roll but for for your player character and not for the opponent. And depending on the results, you you have some effects. So in the end. The rules for combat are way lighter if you if you use these uh, solo combat rules. I could say that actually uh, one GM could decide to use the solo combat instead the the, the core uh, uh, duels rules uh, because if one decides to use this the, the the game will become even faster but more deadly as well. Yeah. Uh, and then the character sheet. So we have here the character sheet. I can show you very briefly. Um, it's 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 normal, nothing uh, special. Just name, archetype, description, and 
we need to have some kind of anchor uh, that uh, ties to to our our character, a drive, some issues. No one no one is perfect, right? Uh, so the attributes and skills, and then the the health. As I said, we only have three. So if we get damage the three times, or if we get three damage, we are broken. And then we have we could have critical injuries, or we could be dead. So this is the character sheet, really simple. So stress, experience, uh, you have a, a maximum of five stress that you can take as well. And yeah, and a haven sheet and a challenge sheet. If you are playing uh, solo, you can use these to keep track of your game. So it's it's nice to see that everything that you need to play it solo is included. So in, in general, I like the system. I, I as I said, I feel that some mechanics are are missing in this game, but it's not so complicated to to adapt it from from other games. Uh, I really like the the solo. Uh, rules. I think it's 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 well written, and and I'm looking forward to to test it. So that's it for today. I hope you like it, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.